<clears throat> yes. More xenomorphs. More. What is the black goo, and what does it do? So in this video, we're going to explore the black goo from Prometheus and Alien Covenant, and find out what does it do? Black goo, what does it do? The exact workings of the substance is not explicitly explained in Prometheus, nor in Alien Covenant. Prometheus lets us hear one theory uttered by Captain Janek, who believes the alien ship's cargo of urns is a payload, a weapon built to destroy. David, the android, seeks to uncover its purpose by testing it on Holloway, unknowingly. Since the substance is shown to have both destructive and life-giving properties in the prologue of the movie, and based on comments from Ridley Scott, the substance is believed to be a catalyst for evolution. When exposed to it, a living subject's DNA appears to rapidly change. In the case of the worms, they're transformed into hammerpeeds. The engineer who ingests it is deconstructed, and his DNA in turn creates new life. In Holloway's case, we don't see the outcome as he's killed by Vickers. It's possible that he's evolving, or that he's breaking down similar to the engineer. We know that after intercourse with Shaw, he impregnates her with a trilobite. So while the effect on Holloway seems to be destructive, the effect on Shaw is productive, in that it's creating a life form. The trilobite she creates later impregnates an engineer, and a deacon is born. It's not known if there are different configurations of the black goo, some who create very specific life forms, and other configurations that simply destroy and kill. We're not sure if there is a different effect depending on whether the substance is ingested or merely touched, or if it's about the amount the subject is exposed to. What's certain is that the substance reacts to living things, since David remains unaffected. Given the presence of the black substance and how it reacts when activated, the facility on LV-223 was possibly used for bioengineering, perhaps for military applications, as Captain Janek suggests. When the crew of the Prometheus enter, they literally change the atmosphere in the room with their presence and activate the liquid, similar to how proximity of life forms activated the eggs in Alien. The chamber containing the urns looks more like a temple than a research facility, could the large stone head in the middle of the room be the face of the engineer's god and creator? And perhaps the mural of the familiar xenomorph on the wall depicts judgment, or the destroyer. Perhaps if the engineers were using this temple as a chamber of worship, or to test their faith. One theory suggests that the black substance is in fact activated by the presence of sin. As shown in the movie, David, a machine, does not trigger the substance, and presumably many engineers have walked among the urns without causing the black goo to leak. When the sinful humans walk among the urns, the liquid is released and corrupts whatever creature is near. Whatever the cause, an accident occurred in the facility and the engineers were wiped out. The dead engineers found by Milburn and Fifield show signs that they gave birth to alien creatures, the decapitated engineer appears to have been infected with the black substance, evidenced when his head is inspected. Shaw notes the black nodules on his head are cell changes. The head is then reanimated, and the process of rapid cell destruction continues until his head explodes. This engineer is seen running and then falling to his knees at the entrance of the temple, before being decapitated. This suggests that whatever is happening to him has overwhelmed him, causing him to fall to the ground, and coincidentally be decapitated seemingly halting the progression of the infection, either because he's dead or because his head resides in the temple and is noted to be in a state of excellent preservation in the atmospherically stable room. The engineers were either planning to carry their deadly cargo to Earth to eradicate humans because of an event that drove the two species apart, or as part of a plan where humans were used deliberately for creating xenomorph life forms. A good question is, is the black goo the DNA code for the aliens that the engineers want to release on Earth? The xenomorph mural points towards this theory. When David releases the black goo in Alien Covenant, the substance seems to simply destroy the engineers, turning them into contorted creatures. Some of them even die standing, which is very strange. But the black goo also creates the neomorph spores, and the neomorphs are responsible for destroying a lot of the animal life, leaving only the plants. We're not sure if other life forms were created besides the neomorphs. You'll notice that the first stage after contact with the black goo is always a facehugger-like creature, i.e. the trilobite and the hammerpede. The second stage is the classic xenomorph, deacon or neomorph. The neomorph has no facehugger stage, only the spores, which is a more subtle and dangerous way of impregnating a host. So to answer the question, what is the black goo, it's basically a DNA manipulator, and this manipulation either creates a new specific life form, or it breaks down the DNA, killing the life forms. 
The configurations are most likely endless, the same way a programmer can create just about any configuration of software. Anyway, I'd love to hear your theories. Please let me know in the comments below. Check out this gorgeous new t-shirt in the viral store. Link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Also, please check out my other videos. I'll see you later.